Okay, so I'd like to say a warm welcome to everyone who is here today. I know that people are represented here from different countries, different pages, different spaces. Uh, today, I just decided to you know, take charge of our 6 p.m. meeting and share something that has been a bit on my mind. I'm going to share my slides. Today, we want to talk about how to achieve your dreams. And this may sound pedestrian. Uh, who dreams anymore? You know, uh, how do I achieve my dreams? Is that not the stuff for children or young people? Uh, should I, as an adult, have dreams and how do I go about achieving them? Uh, I believe that the things you will learn in today's presentation will be useful for you uh, to actually living out your dreams. So I'm going to be sharing my slide. Uh, I hope you can see those slides there. And then I will be making this available to us after to be able to utilize. So today, my name is Adeolo Akiemi, and the topic that I would like to express and share with us today is how we can achieve our dreams. Uh, if you are in the house today and you have dreams, congratulations. If you have stopped dreaming, uh, I'd like to welcome you back to that page where you need to begin to dream again, because dreams do come true. Uh, if we have the boldness to dream them. Uh, some of us stop dreaming because uh, it's like a lot of burden, you know, it's like a lot of burden to carry these dreams around and have nothing happening. Uh, so I want to encourage you that you can dream, you can have your dreams uh, come to pass. Uh, I want to keep things that I am hoping will happen today. And let me see if I can just, you know, max out this by page. Good. One of the things I'm hoping will happen today to someone is that a light bulb will turn on in your head. Uh, it happened for me. Uh, it happens for me regularly. I just suddenly come into this illumination and, you know, and I'm excited. And it doesn't matter what happens around me or what is happening to me. There's just this thought about the possibility of the future that basically, you know, just fills me with energy. And I'm hoping that something like that will happen for you today. That today, everything that we're sharing here, you have heard some of it before, uh, some of it has, has slipped by you, but that today it will sudden, suddenly click. You know, it will suddenly click. It will suddenly make sense. You know, there's a book I'm reading. And, and maybe, you know, if you want to read, uh, I think it's a very interesting book. Uh, I bought it. I went for a course in Harvard. Uh, I was very, you know, excited about what the lecturer spoke about. The lecturer made a few recommendations of books to read. And I, I, I went to the store to buy all the books. Uh, and I had not read this one. So I picked it up recently to read. And the title of the book is The Medici Effect. You know, and for, for this guy, um, the guy that wrote this book, Franz John Hansen, something very interesting happened to him. You know, he said he slept one day, he woke up, he had a dream, he had a very visible something turned on his mind. And this thought he couldn't leave, you know. So he saw two lights stretching off in front of him and coming together. And he was able to, you know, look into the lights and see that, you know, there was some kind of diversities within the lights. And that at the point where those two diversities of lights intersected, there was, you know, creativity. There was a lot of things that came to and, and it was a very interesting vision that he saw, but somehow. He had to put his life on hold to, to follow that dream and follow it to a logical conclusion. And what it turned out to be was that there's this idea in his mind of what innovation and creativity was about. And he needed to write a book about it. And he basically stepped, from, stepped away from business, stepped away from what he was doing and committed himself, went back to, to school, went back to his Harvard lecturer and said, you know what, there's this idea in my mind and I need a supervisor. Can you, can you manage me? Can you supervise me? I want to write this book. And this book has been around in the market for 12 years. It has literally transformed his life, transformed many companies, transformed many organizations because somebody had something that stuck in his head that, you know, that just stayed there as a light bulb and he decided to pursue it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm hoping that your dream will come to you in a way today where something will turn on your mind and you will see the picture will make sense. And even though it's something as mundane, for this guy as writing a book, for you, it might be as mundane as doing something that you felt is not really a big deal. But ladies and gentlemen, little hinges swing big doors. Small keys open giant locks. Reality is, you know, you don't need something out of the ordinary to drive into your dreams. You just need to be committed to that something small. And voila, you can deliver on your dream. So today, we want to talk about how to achieve our dreams. Very simple process, very simple methodology. And I'm going to introduce something to you that you can utilize if you would like to utilize. The name of the book is The Medici Effect. It's just a distraction, but it's a good distraction. The name of the book is The Medici Effect by Franz Johansson. I think it's a good book for those who love creativity, who love imagination, who love ideas, who love being, you know, coming together with things. It's a book that is a masterpiece on how to build a diverse team 
to, you know, to come up with more creative ideas and achieve phenomenal results. So it's something that is becoming useful for me as well as I consider the teams I'm working with, as I consider the kind of people I am marketing my opportunity to, I'm looking for that diversity within them as well because I know that the highest level of creativity is available at the intersection of diversity. Okay, so let me not spoil the book for you. It's a beautiful book. I like a number of books like this. I read them. I try to do some uh, studies, do some extrapolations because, you know, everything just requires a spark. You get a little spark here and there from different things and it can move you very far in your direction. So I'm hoping today that somebody here today gets a spark, okay, that this meeting, okay, for however long it lasts, will spark something to be in you. It will cause all the things you have heard that you have not pieces together to make sense and then you'll be able to drive to achieve towards your dream. Okay, um, so I, I want to start by saying, do you have dreams? Do you have goals? And I want to help you break it down. Uh, we do this for people within our network from time to time. Uh, you know, what are your big goals? Five to 10 years from now. You know, if I ask you for your dreams, a dream and a goal are the same thing. So the, a, a goal is a dream with a deadline. Okay, so your dream can extend till 25 years, 30 years. It can be what you do before you are 80, what you do before you are 70, what you do before you hit the soil. But once you put the deadline on it, it becomes like a goal. And in your goal, you probably have income goals. You have impact goals. You have good goals. 10 years is a good measure for me for how you want to measure how your life is progressing. Uh, I like 25-year goals. I think they're fantastic. I like 20-year goals. I think, you know, the longer your goals, the more wisdom you will manifest because you will be able to bring to bear today, you know, you will live your life today with that, that clear end in mind. Of course, you know, that 25 years from now, income goals would not be important, yeah? So it'd probably be impact and growth goals. So the longer the goal is, the more it basically beams a light on your life and makes you realize the things that are important. So 10 years, you probably have these goals, income goals, impact goals, growth goals. If you don't have them, you need to have them. You need to document and have those goals. And what is the process that starts for you to achieve your dreams? First of all, you need to know what your dreams are. You need to visualize and document your dreams. So number one, visualize and document your dreams. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know if you have heard about vision board before, but you need to do one. I and my wife, we are spending this week to recreate another vision board for ourselves. I want to involve our children in that exercise as well. I will encourage you to do the same. I've done plenty of vision boards in my life. I've been accosted by people. One day I went to Lekki Penis, uh, Lekki Resort, uh, to, to um, Lekki Wildlife, there's a place in Lekki, where, Lekki Conservatory Center. And I went with some people who are doing financial and wealth in, intelligence training. And I went with a group of people and somebody accosted me there and stopped me and said, you know, sir, do you remember me? I said, I don't remember. He said, we sat down together in Joss and developed our vision board about six years ago. I want to just let you know that everything I put on my vision board has become reality. The car I wanted to drive, I'm driving it. The kind of job I wanted to be doing, I'm currently doing it. The kind of income I wanted to earn, I'm currently earning it. My life is as I saw it five years ago, and I have you to thank for pushing me to do that documentation. Because when I finally saw the car, and I saw the car I put that, I couldn't believe it, how it was exactly the same kind of thing I wanted to do. It's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, anybody who pushes you in the direction of saying, what do you want to achieve in 10 years from now? and forces you to document something, actually push you in a very interesting direction. Ladies and gentlemen, if that is one thing you gain from today's meeting, before today closes, begin a process of documenting your dreams. Double-minded people will not achieve anything. Be clear about what you want. Call it out with visualization and documentation. Wake up your reticular activating system. I tell people the mind is a like a, the mind is seeking for the actualization of some things that have been imprinted on it. If something is not visualized as a dream for you or something has, is not triggered in, in your in your mind, your eyes will not see it. Our eyes are capable of seeing a lot more than our eyes are seeing, but the brain regulates what the eye sees. Okay, listen to this: the brain regulates what the eye sees. You have seen your daughter today. You have seen your son today. You have seen your children today. You probably didn't pay attention to the color of what they were wearing. Okay? You didn't pay attention to the particular details of the color of the shoes they were wearing. You didn't pay attention to the particular details of exactly the earring that your daughter was wearing. Why? Because your mind is helping you regulate. You don't want to overload you with information because something needs to activate your eyes to begin to pay attention. The reason why people miss opportunities is because their eyes is not looking for opportunity. The reason why people miss uh, you know, they, they miss different things that get thrown in their direction and available to them is because they are not looking out for it. I want to encourage you here today that we need to begin to look out for the things that are within our dreams. And it starts with a documentation. And ladies and gentlemen, the best thing you want to do for yourself is have 
like a journal or have like a board that you put in a very strategic place in your house or in your room that you can be looking at regularly to remind you that these are the things that are important. These are your impact goals. These are your growth goals. And if you have an income goal, these are your income goals. That for every area of your life that you are going to achieve something, you want to be able to capture a picture that you're looking at, okay, that basically uh, gets your eyes warmed up into this possibility. I can explain it to you uh, for people who need biblical references, for people who need uh, references in sociology, for people who need references in psychology, whatever it is they are looking for, understand that this is a law that works. There are many evidences to prove that once you set your mind upon a particular destination, you will find that the winds will begin to blow in your favor. I tell people that when a captain of a ship wakes up in the morning, he doesn't kneel down and pray, God, let the winds blow in my favor today. He kneels down and prays for God to take charge of his life and his day. He sets his sails, and once the sails are set, there will be contrary winds. There will be assisting winds. There will be good winds. There will be bad winds. There will be winds pushing you north. There will be winds pushing you east. Okay. If God was answering the prayer of every sailor specifically, then every day will have well wind. But God says the, you know, the wind blows the way it likes. Okay. The wind blows where it listed. I tell people that the wind rises the list indiscriminate, in, you know, uh, that it doesn't discriminate against anybody's list and blows the way it wants to blow. If your sails are set, the winds will blow in your favor. People get lucky because before luck happened, they were prepared. One of the best preparations you can make for your future is visualize your dream. If you're in the house today and you don't have a vision board and you will make sure that you have a vision board before the end of this month, can you type in that chat box, I will. Okay, you can send it to all an attendees. Say, I will. And I want to get commitments in this meeting because if we're going to help you move forward to achieve your dreams, your hands can't hit what your eyes can see. You will not begin to walk deliberately in a direction that you have not created. So you need to set your sails and your sails are set when your goals are set. So let's set our sails. And this is commitment. I want a commitment from you to say I will do this. And I'm telling you that my vision board is old. I want to do a new one. I want to enlist my family, enlist my people together. I'm getting magazines. We're going to cut sheets of paper. It's going to be an interesting exercise. And this time around, I want to frame it. Yes, because now I'm more serious about the kind of future I want to create. I want to see it in my, in my library. I want to put it ahead of me. I, I may, it may be coded so that only I understand it or it may be visible so that anybody else can understand it. But the things that will matter to me, you know, in love, in happiness, in impact, in life, in the difference I will make, in people that will make smile, in my relationships, in the kind of income I want to do, the kind of projects I want to evolve in, in the kinds of projects I want to build, the kind of landmark things I want to accomplish in my life, I will document them. I will. Okay, so as I had one before, I will do a new one. Do a new one. Okay, uh, somebody says, dream no small dreams. They have no power to ignite the soul. You know, you, you get excited and energized when you have amazing things you want to achieve. And when they begin to come together, okay, that's happiness. When they begin to come together, that's happiness. I tell people, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I feel strange when people around me are complaining. I feel strange when people are feeling like uh, things are bad. No, in my small journey, you know, of a few years, I have never really had a time when I felt that life was bad. No, everywhere I am is the perfect place and the perfect positioning and preparation for where I want to be. Oh, of course, I'm not, I'm not where I want to be. I have a lot that I want to achieve, but I'm satisfied with today because guess what? I am happy at the progress that I'm making. I'm excited at the things that are coming to pass from 25 years ago, from 20 years ago. I'm not where I want to be in 20 years from now, but I'm making progress and that progress creates happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get yourself excited and make your life more meaningful, have dreams. They will not be achieved in one year. If your vision board is big and you say, I want to have this kind of resource, I want to have this kind of value, I want to make a difference this way, it will not happen in the next one year. One of the problems with humanity is we set goals that are too big for one year and then we set goals that are too small for 10 years. In fact, we set goals that are too big for one year and we set nothing for 10 years. And because we set nothing for 10 years, we underperform in one year and in 10 years, where we have the capacity to really use leverage to perform, there's nothing to be said of it as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy that you're saying, I will, I will, I will, I will. Set your dream. Number two, you need to do a quick audit of yourself and to yourself be true. And why am I saying to yourself be true? Because guess what? In order to achieve your dreams, it must be very clear to you where you are today. And ladies and gentlemen, we can do this meeting 10 times. I will say the same things and it will make a difference every time because you will have shifted. Where are you today? One of the people you need to never deceive is yourself. You need to learn to be brutally honest with yourself. If you are here in this class today and you are listening to me, I want you to be true to yourself. In this your dream that you want to have, there's an ideal picture you want your family to be. 
where is your family relative to that position today? How is the love in your family? How is the relationship with your family? How is the, you know, how frequently are you having reunions? How frequently are you gathering together and, and, and helping each other out? How loving is that relationship? How does your family look today compared to where it wants to be? Take your honest appraisal. How, are your, how is your family? How are your relationships? Do you have real friends? Are you making a difference in anybody's life? Are you a taker or a giver? Are you a giver to anybody? Is there anybody that you have experienced, expressed generosity to in the last one year, in the last one month, in the last seven days? How are your relationships? Are your friends flung around the world and there is no communication between you and them? Or do you have a healthy friend list that you are building and developing? Are you growing in the relationships you're having with others? How does your relationships you know, look today versus tomorrow? One of the things that brings us joy, excitement, and fun that we don't really measure our relationships. Okay, we derive a lot of pleasure from the fact that we can reconnect with an old friend. We can chat with somebody again. We can see the old pictures. We can see things. We can have the opportunity to do things together. Relationships are vital, more vital than money. But guess what? We score ourselves by money because money has measures. Relationships don't have measures. We cannot measure how much emotional, uh, how much we have in people's emotional bank accounts. But ladies and gentlemen, if you look at your life, ask yourself, how strong are my connections? How strong are my connections? How big are my connections? How valuable are, are, are connections? How much demand can I place on the relationship that I have by virtue of the investments that I have made in them in time past? How am I servicing my relationships? Where am I today? And if you are a bad friend today, be clear to yourself and say, today, I'm a horrible person. I don't have... I don't have beautiful relationships. I'm only existing in the place where I have sisters. I have brothers. I have people within beyond the boundaries of my business that I can depend upon. If I want to travel, I don't have places where I can stay because I've burned the bridges. My credibility is in, is in the tanks. My relationships are not the way they should be. Be honest with yourself about where you are today. Financially, where are you today? Do you have enough to take care of where you are? Are you running from pillar to post? Is the month ending before the money ends? Or is the money ending before the month ends? Okay, are you able to be in charge of your finances? Do you have to work because you don't have a choice, or are you working because it is fun to work? What is the state of your current finances? How are you doing financially? What exactly is going on there? Okay, uh, we have over 100 people in this room right now at this moment. Okay, and I think that's beautiful. I'd like you to take this question seriously Where are you today? To yourself, be true. What's your current state? Now, our currencies are very important. Are you full of energy? Are you excited? Are you, are, you, are you full of life? Are you looking to the future with passion, with relish, with gusto? Are you looking at the future and excited that about where you are and about where you will be next? Or are you running from pillar to post today? Are you sad today? Are you feeling bad today? Are you depressed today? Are you battling depression today? What's your current state? Are you full of energy? Are you draining low? Ladies and gentlemen, your dream will not just happen upon you. It is very important to know exactly where you are today before you begin to navigate. The Google map that will connect you from where you are to where you want to be will first of all identify where you are going, will be very clear about where you are, and then it will begin to recalculate. And ladies and gentlemen, the same way the Google map works, the same our life map works. I can move from where I am today to where I want to be. I can get guidance, I can get help, I can get direction, I can get people pushing me in the right direction. If only, if only I will be true to them about where exactly I am. I cannot help you if I don't know where you are. If I know the direction to where you're going, I will tell you, go straight, turn left, turn right. Every description that I will give you will be, con will be contingent upon the accuracy of your exact location that you tell me. So ladies and gentlemen, where are you today relative to these terms? What is your state today? Are you full of life? Are you bubbling? Or are you not? Are you excited about your job and your career? Are you climbing the ladder that is leading to the right wall? Or are you on the wrong ladder? Does it feel like you have wasted the last 10 years? Or does it feel like everything is building to a particular place? What's your current state? And what's the state of your health? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, I, have, I and a friend, we usually share with ourselves, we say that you know, there's a horse, uh, there's a message, and there's a messenger. And that the message can be a perfect message if the messenger is wounded, then the message will not be delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, if your health is failing, your dreams may happen when you are no longer there. So your health is important. You know, some people all of a sudden begin to grow stomachs. Okay? And apologies. You know, my stomach is getting flat now. So maybe I, I run end the right to speak. But some people just begin to grow stomachs. Some people get grow out of proportion. Some people begin to 
you know, as they grow older, you know, they, they are losing the grip on some areas of their lives. Your health is important because it can make a difference between your possibility of having a 25-year plan and not. Because guess what? When you get to the future and you are no longer there, your dreams will not happen in your absence. So ladies and gentlemen, we need to take care of our health. How is your health today? And if you are young, you don't have any health challenges yet, maybe you need to begin to pay attention to your health. Maybe you need to pay attention to, you know, are you detoxifying? Are you, you know, eating the right things? Are you exercising appropriately? Are you living right? Now, be true to yourself. And ladies and gentlemen, if you do a honest appraisal, it will leave you at a place where you know that going from where you are to where you want to be is compulsory. I tell people, I am not, I'm contented, I'm excited and satisfied where I am, but I'm also discontented because I know that where I am is not the best place to be. Well, I'm not, and my state today needs to be joy. My state today needs to be happiness while I am work in progress towards achieving my dreams. Okay? And that's not conflicting. I'm saying where you want to go is bigger, better, more beautiful than where you are today. But the attitude and state that you must maintain by time, your internal compass must be peace. So ladies and gentlemen, evaluate where you are today and tell me, do I need to move? Do you need to move? Do you need to make movement? Do you need to consciously move from where you are? And if you have, if you have done a quick mental analysis of your relationships, your family, your finances, your state and your health, and you know you need to move forward, can you write in that, can you write in that chat box, I need to move? Okay, I can put the direction there, I need to move forward. Okay, I need to move forward. That's the comment you want to put in that box. I need to move forward. And then the question I want to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, as you begin to postulate your desire to move forward in every area of your life, thank you very much for those who are there, Chikodi. Do you have a plan? Okay, I've established what, what my dream is, where I want to get to. I've established where I am. Do you have a plan? Do you have a clear plan to move from where you are to where you want to be? Or are you bungling around through life? You know, basically just moving around in twists and turns and hoping that you will move from point A to point B. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two unique strategies you can use to achieve your dream. And they are a plan. And I want to challenge you today and say, do you have a plan? And what exactly can a plan look like? There are two things you can have as a plan. I learned this particular first one from uh, somebody who I met about uh, 13 years ago. I actually traveled to Malaysia to listen to this person speak, and it was a very interesting conversation. Uh, the meeting he had publicly and the very interesting conversation we had one-on-one. -on -one. And he said some people want to achieve their dreams, and what they use is a syndrome called Rambutan syndrome. And Rambutan is not very popular in Nigeria, so I think I can replace it in Nigeria with, with mango syndrome. And what does this syndrome mean? It means you take a stick, you locate a mango tree, you throw the stick or stone up into the tree, you are not targeting any particular mango, but you are hopeful that when you throw this thing into the tree, one mango will drop. That's what they call the rambutan or the mango syndrome. You throw a stick and you hope. Now, of course, when you throw the stick, mango drops, three mangoes drop, and the three mangoes that drop are unripe. It means all your strategy and your plans did not achieve your goal, did not achieve your dream. So unripe mangoes drop, you, don't, you throw the unripe mangoes away, you take the stick again and you try again. What are you doing? You are destroying the future potentials of other people's dreams. You are destroying what other people can achieve in the future. You are just hitting and hoping, throwing and hoping to hit. You don't have a clear plan. You don't want to do like this. You want to be clear. There's a plan that will take you from where you are to where you are going. And the other one is you, you can have a Google map. And in that Google map, you can have a guided tour. You can be guided. You can know that somebody has gotten here before. I can enjoy coaching, I can enjoy mentorship, I can enjoy a support group, I can enjoy friendship to move me from where I want to be, uh, from where I am to where I want to be. I can go in a company. Somebody says, if you go alone, you will go fast. But if you go together, you will go far. So is your plan to go far? Do you want to waste energy or do you want to go straight? Do you want to move forward with a very clear plan? Ladies and gentlemen, I know what your answer is. Your answer is not to bungle through life. Your answer is to have very clear, very clear steps, like a Google map, showing you where you are, showing you where you're going, and telling you how much time you need to get there. Ladies and gentlemen, in my life, I have enjoyed guided tours. How? I've been involved in things where I have people like go to me and I say, please, what do you do when you face this kind of situation? I get guidance. Now, in those industries where I get guidance, there's no guidance offered, but I look for them. Because I know it is crazy to try and create a new plan for something that somebody has achieved before. 
why can't I just basically learn from them, look at what they have done, and basically follow the same course? So what have we done today? We have said dream, document your dreams. We have said do a, an audit of where you are. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you, do an audit of where you are. Be true to yourself concerning your income, your impact, your growth, your family, your relationships, your state, your health, your finances. Have a clear understanding of where you currently are. And then we need a plan. And ladies and gentlemen, this meeting, uh, I can't give everybody a plan, but I can give you a generic plan in this meeting. And that's what I want to achieve in this meeting. I want to give you a generic plan. And what's the generic plan? That generic plan needs three key elements. This adjustment, three key elements. Okay. Uh, why, what do you need in your plan that will help you achieve your ultimate dream and your ultimate goal? You need three key things. One, you need inspiration. What is inspiration? I tell people, and, and I learned this as well, that people are not lazy. People are not tired. More often than not, why people are lackadaisical or not doing as passionately the things you expect them to be doing is because they are not inspired. I have found out that when people are inspired, there is nothing impossible for them. When people are inspired, there is nothing impossible for them. If somebody tells you, I am tired, it is because there is nothing at stake. It's because there's nothing inspiring. The same person, the same lady who told her husband, I am tired, five minutes ago, can receive a phone call from a friend about an opportunity, about some alarm that just entered the account, about something exciting, and for the next two hours, they will be on this exciting call, pissing and prancing and moving around the house, whereas they said they were tired five minutes ago. Why? Because people only manifest laziness and tiredness when they are uninspired. One of the key things that you need to be able to get going on your dream is a fresh dose of regular inspiration. If you are in the house and you have experienced what it is like before to be tired, to feel like you don't want to do something, and all of a sudden a fresh burst of inspiration comes and you find yourself overdoing yourself, type in that window, I am a witness. Okay, if you have seen it in your life or you have seen other people's life, type in there, I am a witness. Ladies and gentlemen, you need inspiration. You know, I put there, our mission is to inspire, call and empower. Inspiration is something that once you are inspired, you will do, you will do amazing things. You will do phenomenal things. You know, somebody asked me, do you, do you find the energy to be doing these trainings, to be doing these sessions, to be doing these meetings throughout the lockdown every day? If something was happening, where do you find the energy? Is from inspiration. Once you are inspired, you will do. If you find yourself that you stop doing anything, it's because you have stopped being inspired. So one of the things you want to do to yourself is get yourself regularly in spaces and places. Thank God for the internet. Thank God for, for available information in the internet. Thank God for books. Lots of them behind me you can regularly get inspired. One of the things that I love to do for people is inspire them. One of the things that our network is created upon is opportunity to have different people's stories, listen to different people and be inspired. Okay? So the first thing we need is inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, every goal you want to achieve in this life, every dream you have will be achieved if you can stay inspired, stay motivated, stay inspired. Number two is connections. I'm sure you have heard this. They tell you it's not what you know that counts. It is who you know that counts. Oh, I tell you an extra. It's not what you know and who you know alone. It's who knows you and for what. Ladies and gentlemen, connections are important. Everything you want in this world is in someone's hands. Everything you need in this world is in someone's hands. And understand this. Uh, in, 1990, in, 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 in 1993 or thereabouts, somebody who came with a concept and said that everybody in the world has six degrees of connection. That was before Facebook. That was before Instagram. That was before Twitter. That was before WhatsApp. That was before social media took on the space. It was before mobile phone in Nigeria. Today, data analysts are saying that everybody probably possibly has two degrees of connection away from each other. Meaning, today, it's no longer six. You know somebody who knows who you know. There is somebody within your social circle who can connect you with that person who is on your social circle. So, it's no longer six. Some people say maybe it's five now. Some say it's four now. So, somebody said it's two. What does it mean? It means everything you desire in this world is in someone's hands. So what must you do? What must you do if you will achieve your dreams? What must you do if you are going to be able to navigate this world to your dreams? You must be connected. You must oil your relationships. You must build deep friendships. You must make deposits in other people's emotional bank accounts. You must become a giver. You must become someone who is oiling their network, oiling their relationships, 
oiling and making sure that they are connected to more and more people because guess what that person you are looking down to today may be somebody who will help you up tomorrow life nobody maintains one condition for life nobody maintains one position for life the people you will help today will help you tomorrow one of the things you must do to yourself is ensure that you continue to broaden and deepen your relationships you must oil it and i'll give you a little very a brief story i remember uh, one of the first job opportunities that I got after my first opportunity was, you know, somebody, I was working somewhere, somebody came for a job, I recruited this young man, after I recruited him, he worked in the company for like three years, eventually he left, and then one day, somebody called me from the blues, and they were offering me a job that was going to pay me double, three times my salary, and I said, how did you get my number? And he said, somebody, this guy told us about you. Now, this guy that told them about me is somebody I recruited as well, is somebody that I felt, you know, came, to, came up from school, Later than myself is a junior person. I would never have thought that this is the person who connect me to my first, you know, my next opportunity. One day again, somebody called me uh, from somewhere and said, you know, we'd like you to come and do a training in MTN, my first big training gig. And this is about 2007. I earned three million naira from this training gig. I went to do a training. I was paid three million naira. And how did I get this opportunity? Somebody who I had supported and mentored before in one way or the other connected me to somebody and said, if you look at somebody who take this training, there's someone I know. People don't, be, they didn't, they don't need to be higher than you to recommend you. They don't need to be on the same level with you to recommend you. Okay? Every relationship matters. And if you are a person who maintains generally well oil relationships, you are regularly making deposits into people's emotional bank accounts, you are regularly making connections with people, loving them, sharing with them, being a blessing, adding value. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? You are oiling the wheels of your navigation in life and you cannot plan this perfectly but amazing things are going to happen for you. Amazing things are going to happen. So if you are there and you're not servicing your relationships, you're not, you know, making friends, you're not, you know, serving, adding value, making a difference, improving lives and helping people grow, helping people become better, you are leaving yourself stranded on an island where everything you are looking for may not get to you. You want it to get to you? Relationship matter. Connections. If you are here today and you know that there's a lot more you need to do there's a lot more that needs to be happening from your relationships. Can you say in that, you know, can you say in that chat box, I will connect. I will connect. Ladies and gentlemen, you need a system that allows you to connect more. You need to connect. Okay? Good. Thank you, Morof. And then, of course, empowerment. Ladies and gentlemen, all of us can do amazing things if we're empowered. And what does it mean that we're empowered? It means somebody looks at us and says, you know what, handle this on my behalf. Somebody looks at us and says, you know what, uh, get the resources to do this. Today, we, people pass sly jokes and they say the richest woman in, in Africa, you know, she's just there because somebody empowered her. She was a fashion designer and somebody gave her another word. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nobody who makes you without being empowered. Oh, yes, yeah, somebody empowers you. Somebody gives you the first break. Somebody gives you the first opportunity. It may not operate. That's what they call the connected economy. And it's unfortunate that largely every real value and resource you find in Africa, uh, the people that are controlling the highest resource in Africa, are connected to political power. That there's a circle in every country where, unfortunately, the majority of the big money is found in their connections with power. Don't lament about it. Don't complain about it. Ask yourself, how do I become the kind of person who is valuable enough to connect everywhere? But this is just beyond that. Somewhere within those connections is where your opportunity for empowerment happens. And this is just meant if you had a hundred million naira today, your dream would be easy. Trust me. If you had a hundred million dollars in your pocket today, if you had a million dollars in your pocket today, your dreams will not be as difficult as they are. So you need empowerment. Everybody needs empowerment. Everybody needs a little bit of extra power that somebody delegates to them and an opportunity, a break. You know, somebody, everybody needs a break. So there are three things you need. Now the question is, where are you going to find these three things? How are you going to make these three things happen? How are you continuing to go in to make sure that you are growing, you are learning, you are inspired? And it's one of the things that we have on our platform. And ladies and gentlemen, today, I don't want to talk about money. I don't want to talk primarily about money. You are going to make money. Okay? Yes, I know that money probably makes the world go round. Money probably makes you achieve your dreams quicker. And money is important. I will talk about it. But you need inspiration, you need connections, and you need to be empowered. And money empowers. That's what money does. It basically makes possible for you what, you know, someone says, ah, that person doesn't know how to do anything, though. If he has money, he will know how to do things. You will know how to send people on errands. They will get people to be able to send. The most intelligent and biggest business in the world are not run by the most brilliant people in the world. They are run by people who are able to achieve things through others. Ladies and gentlemen, you must learn to be empowered. You must learn to empower others. 
your life will not consider what you're able to do or deliver on yourself. It will be what you're able to allow your team to deliver on. So ladies and gentlemen, you need to be in a learning, happy learning community. Okay? Uh, these are pictures from our, you know, from, from people who graduated from some of the classes we did. Uh, what, what we call, uh, uh, you know, a business school. Or we did a, an academy, a leadership academy. Some of the graduates, different ages, different stages. People are learning, people are growing. Okay? Um, be inspired. You hear about people's achievements, people's results, okay? People are traveling, people are doing amazing things. You can, you know, be in a community that affords you an opportunity to be inspired regularly. It's one of the things we offer on the platform that we are on as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have your unique dream. You have your pathways to achieve it. We're saying, body up with us. There's a way we can support you and help you achieve your dreams. And we can do it in a very interesting and simple way, okay? Interesting and simple way. And it basically you know, plugging in and being involved in exactly what we're driving together as well. Okay. Now, what if I told you, what if I told you this, that you can, all the things you want to do, your, your desire for inspiration, desire for connections, your desire for empowerment, I can help you show you one thing that helps you achieve all. Will you be interested? If I told you, you know, there are many things you can do. My finances, I want to work on my job, increase my salary for my relationship. I want to begin to pay attention to relationships uh, for my state. I want to begin to read personal development books that will make me happy. Uh, I, I, you can be doing 12 different things just because you want to do one thing. If I told you that I can show you one key thing you will do that will help you not need to break your mind in different positions and drive and achieve, will you be interested? If you'll be interested, just type in that window, I am interested. Okay, for you, Gulis is saying, sharing something very exciting here. He said, I once connected with a total stranger who needed only 65,000 naira, and she connected me with a business that fetched me 17 million naira. I don't even know her name. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when, we, when we, we are generous, when we open up ourselves and become connecting points, when we open up ourselves and become the kind of people that other people, you know, are, are being a blessing to other people. Okay. Okay, I'm here, I'm interested, I'm interested, I'm interested. Okay, good. I'm excited that you're interested. I'm about to share with you. And I'm going to share with you in 10 minutes. Yes, I just mean, in 10 minutes, uh, you can take everything I've told you and you can say, you know what? I can utilize everything you have told me. I don't even know what you want to tell me. And that'll be fine. Okay? Um, you know, and you can say, you know what? I want to listen to this uh, and I want to work with this and I want to drive for this. Somebody is saying, Thank you for the picture you just sent. I thought your community was only for young people. No, we have 65 year olds. We have 70 year olds. We have 75 year olds and we have 21 year olds. This is a community about ensuring that everyone who is alive and still breathing and achieve their dreams. Okay. Now I can see interested, interested, highly interested, very interested, 100% interested. I want to show you one way. And I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a little story and I'm going to use this story as the basis for how you can get involved with this opportunity. You can get involved with this place that allows you to achieve your dreams in one swing. Story, story. Once upon a time, there was a phenomenal, fantastic young man who decided that he wanted to live the life of his dreams and he needed to make money and he wanted to do a business that will afford him an opportunity to make some extra cash for himself to be able to achieve the things he wants to achieve. Remember? Money is not an end, it's the means to an end. And he felt if I had a little more money, I can achieve my dreams. I can be there for my family. I can show love better. I can buy the books I need to buy. I can develop myself. I need resources. Okay? And then this man decided that he was going to be carrying a bag of sand across, you know, international borders every, every day. And this man filled this bag, you can see in front of you, loaded it with sand and carried uh, this sand on his bicycle. He didn't want to buy fuel. And then he rode this bicycle and crossed the border. And as soon as he crossed across the border, the people at the border stopped him and asked him, what are you carrying? And the man said, it is sand. And they couldn't believe their eyes. How would you smuggle sand across the border? And why are you carrying and smuggling things in broad daylight? And the man said, it's because I'm not smuggling anything. And they took down the bag, emptied the bag, and searched it grain by grain, found out it was sand, packed it for him again, put it in the bag, and told him he could go. It took them two hours, and then he left. And then the next day, he came back again, same routine. They searched him thoroughly, and then allowed him to go. The next day, he came again, 
and he did this every day for two weeks. And after two weeks, the people who are the border, the customs people, stopped him and said, man, you are wasting four hours of our life every day. And the man said, no, it's only two hours. He said, no, you are wasting four hours. Because after we delay you here, and we search your bag, and we see his sand, we spend another one hour discussing what is going on here within ourselves. And when we get home to our wives, our wives ask us, what about that man that is carrying sand? Did he come today? And then we spend hours trying to defend our wives that they are doing something illegal and they say maybe not illegal and we keep on arguing. We waste one hour at home. You are wasting four hours of our lives on this sand business. What are you smuggling? And the man smiled and said, I'm not smuggling anything. I'm, I'm carrying sand. And they said, no, there's something you're not telling us. And the man said, well, can I go now? I said, you know what? Let's sign a deal with you. If you tell us what you're carrying, we promise you, we will not stop you again. We will not waste your time. You can continue smuggling what you're smuggling. And the man smiled and said, are you willing to sign to that effect that you will not stop me anymore? And he said, yes, why not? And he said, ah, you are eager to sign. It means you are smuggling something. He said, do I go or do you want to hear? And he said, please tell us, we will sign. And then he wrote an agreement and said, I will not stop you again. Whatever you are carrying, you can continue carrying from now on. You have beaten us. We respect you. Just tell us what you are doing so that we will stop wasting our time and you will pacify our conscience. And the man smiled. And after they signed the agreement, he said, what are you smuggling, sir? <laughs> he said, uh, I'm smuggling bicycles. <laughs> His bicycle are smuggling. Every day, I fill my bag with sand and I carry a new bicycle. Next day, I come back again with a new bicycle. I fill my bag with sand. The sand is just to distract you. The bicycle is what I'm really selling. Ah! And the customer was just were like, oh, wow, wow, wow. So every day is bicycle. And then, of course, because they have now signed, the man now began to carry like 10 every day. So 10 bicycles, he will cross over, cross over, cross over. They already signed that they will not stop him anymore. He was moving the bicycle across and while they were paying attention to the sand. Ladies and gentlemen, this little wise man story or strategic decision story is the heartbeat of some of the business ventures you may need to do to achieve your dreams. Because guess what? If they knew, if they understood exactly what he was doing, then the poll will have stopped him. And I want to tell you something very interesting. In our business model, what we are driving in the Green Mondays business, there's something you need to pay attention to. The bag of sand that we are carrying, we need an excuse to cross the border. We need an excuse to move around the world. We need an excuse to be able to achieve the things we want to achieve. Now, this thing that you call sand is not worthless, it's not valueless. It needs to be something that can at least give people enough attention and distraction. It has to have strong distraction value, strong value in itself to be able to create distraction. Now, our sand in this business is what we call the products that we sell. Many people focus on the products and they feel, ah, the Olu, the Olu is selling Rida. Ah, it's Rida that is doing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the bicycle. This is the sand. Yes, it's valuable sand. Yes, that's testimonies. Yes, it's doing amazing things. But this is the sand. This is our reason. This is the reason or, and, and the value we can push across to show that this is something we're driving. The bigger picture we're driving is our dreams. The bigger picture we're driving is towards our dreams. The real deal that we want to drive from this, yes, it helps people. Yes, it helps with their health. Yes, it's making a difference. But it is not about the products, it's about what it does. And it's about the value and the dream that we want to accomplish. This becomes our sand. What's our bicycle? Our bicycle is the system we build. It's the system and network that we build to be able to achieve our dreams. Okay? That's, that's, the, that's the value. The real bicycle here is if I build my organization, if I build my network, I will interact with people. I will get new people on board. I will sponsor new people. I will sponsor, you know, I will get my friends together. I will have something that we are doing together. I will have a basis for communicating and, you know, and, and relating with people. Some of them I knew before. Some of them I never knew. Today, I have amazing friends, amazing friends on this platform. I did not know them two years ago. We were not close two years ago. Today, we have conversations today with some people and we are, in, you know, we are basically close to the families. Today, we didn't know three years ago. So guess what? This is the sun that brings us across the border, but the engine that makes that happen is the network that we are building. And this is another side I like you to get because these are gentlemen, anybody who is looking at what we're doing is wondering, ah, is that what they're selling? Is that what it is? No, it's bigger than that. The sand for Google is search. Everybody who goes to Google goes to search. Everybody who goes to Google goes to search. Google has realized that where their bicycle is in that opportunity is the number of eyeballs coming to search. And when those eyeballs come in to search, they can put advertisement there and they can make money from advertising, which is their bicycle. 
Whereas the value that they put out there that connects everybody together is search. Facebook's name, claim to fame is a social network that brings people together. But there's no value bringing people together is sand. Okay, the real value is that once people are together, they are in an environment where whatever it is you want to sell to them or you want to position to them is available. So ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand the bag of sand strategy. And that bag of sand strategy tells you that in Green Mondays, our dreams, the travel we want to travel, the houses we want to build, the cars we want to buy, the relationships we want to have, want to go skiing with friends. And ladies and gentlemen, I've done amazing things with friends on these platforms. Okay, whereas I used to be a corporate professional, in this platform, I've traveled to nothing less than 15 countries. On this platform, I've gone with people and we've gone skiing in Dubai. Yes, in the hot sun in Dubai, we've gone skiing. With this, we've gone bungee jumping in Singapore. I've, I've jumped, you know, I've jumped, I've, I've done a reverse bungee jump. I've, for, with this, in Thailand, we've jumped down from the, from the 45th story building. For the 45th floor of the story building, we jumped down and had a, had a zip line. With this opportunity, I've, I've got to eat in the biggest restaurant in the world, 5,000 seater, where the people who serve serve with roller skate and they roll around. That's the world you're driving towards. That's the dream. The product that you have is a very good excuse of value that the world can patronize and have, have, have access to. But the things we can achieve together on that platform are phenomenal. And that's what it is about. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you see this kind of numbers that I show you, and I, I put red somewhere so they can pay attention to it, you know, for five star, two star, and all the ranks that gives you get cars, houses, and different things. But in this business, there's a potential for you to earn, literally earn billions on a monthly basis. Are you going to get there? Is not sure. Okay, but you can look at somewhere within that rest space and say, you know what, if I get to a place where I'm earning 20 million per month, that's fine for me. And this is just from team building. This is the power bike. Okay, not a normal bicycle. This is the power bike. And says, you know what, all that I need to do to this is to build a team. Build a relationship. Okay, somebody said the person thing, what is behind, what is between five is more than six. Oh yes, it's more than six. That it looks like ah, they, they will be looking at them and say, ah, these people are selling sand. They are carrying sand. Ah, these, these reader people. These are gentlemen. Reader people will earn 100 million naira on a monthly basis. Reader people will earn a billion naira from this business. Reader people will connect with family members, will have new relationships. Reader people will have new friends, will have connections that will become valuable in time that you cannot even predict. Today, I have an opportunity of giving gifts regularly to people. These products, I, I, give, I give more than I sell. Oh, I'm selling. But I give more than I sell. So I'm giving people, I'm giving people, bam. They're coming back and giving testimonies and I say, how can I do more? I'm giving bottles. I drink and say, ah, how can I get more? What are we doing? We're creating a, a flow. We are connecting. We are networking. We are building a team. One day, it may be useful politically. One day, it may be useful for nation building. One day, it may be useful for other things. One day, it may just be that somebody, your wedding, you need somebody to show up. It, it can be valuable to you on different counts. But you are creating connections, you are oiling your relationships, you are building new ones, you are making new friends, you are becoming a citizen of the world and a friends collector. And guess what? There's money at the end of that tunnel. Even though where the money is coming from is not in buying and selling. Where the money is coming from is the fact that you are creating a system that ensures that when you are no longer actively driving, you are earning passive income. And because there is value that you are driving, because there is value behind what you are driving, it is sustainable. Because that value today, this product is sold in 16 countries of the world. And not just this product, there are a variety of them I'll show you. Okay, what our sun looks like. This is extra reward. This page shows you extra reward you can earn on a monthly basis by virtue of the team you have built. Not sales you make, the team you have built when everybody in your team buys for their own consumption, buys to supply their community, buys to share with their friends in their own areas. You can be earning an extra 11 billion on a monthly basis because you have built a phenomenal team. Because you have built a team. And this is just there are many network marketing companies in the world, so you can build a team in various places. But the beauty of what we are doing here is we are giving Nigeria a good reputation. We are giving Nigeria an opportunity to have its own stamp around the world as well. But guess what? A time is coming when I will not be able to say this anymore because we'll have different nationals, different people from different countries. But guess what? Nigeria is also producing something. The Japanese are not angry that they are producing Toyota. Okay? The Koreans are not, are not angry that they want producing Samsung. But those products have become passports to the world. They become commodities around the world. Why? Because one country decided to say this is the value we want to create. iPhone is made by US, made in China, but it's available around the world. Green Mondays is using value created within our local soil, within our local environment, shipping around the world and ensuring that you and I who build the structure and network that makes this happen can be fairly rewarded. This is our bike. Our sand is the major range of products. Okay. 
our and, and guess what? Our sand, we have a number of SKUs today. You can see the products. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty three different SKUs today and growing. And guess what? We are now ISO certified. International standards in the making process. Testimonies are amazing from Nigeria to the world. It's an extra source of foreign reserve for the country. We are doing phenomenal things. I tell people, if I was the, you know, if I was in charge of uh, of NAVDAC, I'm not, and I don't, I'm not in that lineage. Maybe my wife, being a pharmacy, may one day be in that lineage. I would look for companies like us and say, how can we help you be more firmly rooted in the international space because there's value you can add and bring to our nation. Nigeria needs to become a different nation in how we support entrepreneurs, how we support innovation, how we support new things happening. But this is our sand. And this is what they look at and say, hey, I mean, is that what I'm driving? But guess what? Even this sand is delicious. This is not just normal sand. This is Swiss sand. Okay? This is icing. Because guess what? The body wash is magical. Somebody said, I want to take a picture with the body wash, get myself in a jacuzzi and take a selfie. I said, don't worry, when we get to Dubai, we're going to Dubai in December. Okay, we're having a leadership trip to Dubai. Maybe we'll make that happen. And, you know, and, and pepper them, pepper them. But oh, these are sand. I think that the question I want to ask you today as I bring this to a close is, are you qualified? Are you qualified? Are you qualified to take on this opportunity? Are you qualified to live a life that connects with your dream? Are you qualified? Do you have the means? And what are the means? Somewhere between, you know, the, the, real, mean, the real mean deal is 750,000 naira. You can start from somewhere and upgrade in time. But 750 is where you want to be. Okay, do you have the means? Do you have the desire? Someone said the starting point of all achievements is desire. Okay, that if you want to achieve anything, it is desire that starts it. Do you have the means? If you don't have the means and you have the desire, your desire will bring the means. You will go borrow, you will make it happen. Because these are gentlemen, all of us can achieve our dreams if we are willing to know where we are going, know where we are, and have a plan. And I offer you today a plan. I offer you a plan. Okay, thank you very much. I'm qualified. This is mind blowing. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have the influence? Are there people that you can say, follow me and they will follow you? Do you have influence? Do you have people you can lead? Do you have people that will follow you? Do you have people that will agree with you and come with you on a journey? This is an amazing journey. Without this journey, how, how will I have met James Osua? How will I have met Mrs. Patricia Ogumola? How will I have met Rosa uh, Nubia? How will I have met Kike Lomo? How will I have met Dr. Fumiano? How will I have met Dr. Dironi Fadi? How will I have met Mrs. Dupe Dipe? How will I have met Mrs. Bumimo Joku? How will I have met you? Okay? The only reason that happens, how will I have met Mrs. Daramola? How will I have met Henry Naholo? The only reason why this happens, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? It's because there's an opportunity that we're driving together. Now, it brings us together, it binds us together, it makes us friends. We begin to explore other things together because we're together. And I tell you, a day is coming when you know, we're going to look at somebody and say, you know what, what do you have that we can drive? What are you doing that we can add value to? We want to do this. Can you help us with this? Because as we are building this community, this community will also add value to the people who are adding value to this community as well. So there are people who are three star, four star today. If we wanted to do something, you'll be the first set of people that we'll talk about. Do you have influence? If you don't have influence, it's time to grow your influence. Are you teachable? Some people, they have maxed out in life. They have gone to that place where they cannot learn anything new anymore. Nobody can teach them anything new anymore. They are, they are stuck. And if you are stuck this way, you cannot grow. It means you cannot expand. It means there's nothing else for you to achieve. But if you have the means, you have the desire, you have the influence, you are teachable, you are qualified. Get across to the person that shared this opportunity with you and tell them, I'm ready to run with my dreams. I like the plan that was shared and I want to run with you. And if you don't like the plan that was shared, no problem. Take the lessons you have learned, the first few lessons, and run with them. Be clear about where you are. Be clear about where you are going. Make a plan and begin to work at it. Do your vision board. Do your current audits have a plan that helps you get there in various areas along with you. But if you like this plan, then let's run this plan together. I hope with these few words of mine, I've been able to convince and not confuse you and show you that this is something you can drive as an opportunity and it can get you going and get you far. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to pause at this junction. And if you have any questions, I am willing to take your questions.